Yo, what's going on everybody? I want to welcome you guys to episode 4. The stat sheet stuffer is about to get drafted. All I can say is pray with me, man. I want to get this number 1 draft pick. I want to show you guys that I'm nice at this game. Hopefully it comes through. Let's see. Oh, man, what a buzz kill. It looks like I'm going to be going number 2 to the Bobcats. All that hard work, 34, 8, and 9, is not going to give me that number 1 spot. I really can't believe it. But you guys can see my positives and my negatives right now. Man, I guess me not being as athletic is the problem. But I did so much better than everybody. I did better than Anthony Davis. Look at this. Look at this stat line. Well, let's get into the NBA draft. Let's see if a miracle can happen. Good evening and welcome to the 2012 NBA draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, Tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select David Carter from Villanova University. You guys telling me that I just pulled a miracle out of my ass literally I just got drafted number one I am ecstatic right now oh my goodness you guys should have saw my reaction in my house I was jumping around like I just won the lottery my girl was looking at me my son was looking at me they were like what is wrong with this dude was like what is I'm looking at the screen like yeah I'm fist pumping I'm jumping around I'm doing push-ups jumping jacks oh man I was going ham but, hey man, I guess 34, 8, and 9 with an A-plus grade can get the job done. I know a lot of people are probably like, oh man, he put two different clips together to get number one. Nah, man, this is one and done, man. You guys already saw when I got drafted. It showed my averages in that game, so that game was legit. I just still couldn't believe it, man. I, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to Charlotte. Like, oh my goodness, I would have been pissed if I would have went to Charlotte, man. Darn. Well, now that my rookie year is starting, you already know what they're going to give me. They're going to give me my introduction billboard. So, you know, I'm going to be somewhere up in New Orleans showing off on the highway. I hope I'm down Bourbon Street, you know, in the mix. You know, so when people walk by, they be like, oh, I know him. That's that she stuff. Or, well, you can already see here he's got next. For tickets, you know they always want to throw in their little promo. You know, go to Hornets.com. Look at them, man. They trying to get money. But it's all good, man. They can use me as they billboard. I ain't sweating it. Um, you guys already saw my contract was for 500 VC. It's all good, man. I guess 500 VC is good to some people. But this right here is when I shared um, when I actually got drafted. Now, when I shared this and I put it on Twitter, I think I put in some weird thing like first or 10th pick. And a lot of people were hitting me up saying, hey, man, did you get first pick? Oh, did you get 10th pick? Did you do it? Did you do it? Well, here goes the video for you guys, man. I got the number one pick. Man, I, I still can't believe it, yo. Like, for me to actually be in a mock draft at number two for the Charlotte Bobcats and get number one, has that ever been done? Has anybody ever been lower than number one in a mock draft but got drafted number one? You know, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If anybody has ever got that, just let me know, man, because that is crazy. I just can't believe 2K just trolled me like that. They said, nah, we're not going to give you number one. You're going to go number two. Aha. Aha. You got that number one pick. But you know me, man, doing my hashtags. I had to show you all of this. I don't care. I got to show you everything I did. This is how hype I was. I was misspelling words. I was so hype. <laughs> but you already know what's coming next in episode five. I'm going to spend all this VC on dunk packages, shots, animations, pregame rituals, layup packages. I'm going to go all out, man. I'm going to break the bank. I think I got to get about 9 to 10 dunk packages. Yeah, I said it, 9 to 10. I'm not going to have just one or two dunk packages all season. I'm going to break it out, man. But you see me here making my Twitter handle, as some people would say. 
Now, I know a lot of people probably want to make a stat sheet stuff for Twitter for me. If anybody makes it, man, you know, you can you can keep up with the tweets, tell people when the video came out or whatever, but uh, that's just funny right there. But I couldn't fit stat sheet stuffer, so I just had to put stat stuffer. But it's all good, man. You guys get the point. You already know what's about to go down. Now, me, I'm personally about to sign out. I'm about to go work on a couple more videos for you guys. Get the first game popping. Because you already know, man. After the purchases, I went into the first game. Tried to do what I needed to do. I had minimal minutes. But, hey, the stat sheet stuffer is still alive. But this is IKC signing out. I'm going to see you all in the next video. But look at that guy. Look, look at him. Look at it. I respect it. <laughs> Yo, Blaine Wazen now, man. I'm a Highest Twins fan now. Peace.